The Lewis and Clark Expedition A Journey into the Unknown Step back in time and immerse yourself in the thrilling saga of the Lewis and Clark Expedition, a daring quest into the uncharted wilderness of the American West. Led by the intrepid explorers Meriwether Lewis and William Clark, this epic journey of discovery and adventure unfolds against the backdrop of a vast and untamed frontier. In the year 1804, President Thomas Jefferson embarked on a monumental mission, entrusting Meriwether Lewis and William Clark with an unprecedented journey. To explore the vast expanse of the newly acquired Louisiana Territory and seek out a water route to the Pacific Ocean, Jefferson's decision to initiate the Lewis and Clark expedition was driven by a combination of strategic, economic, and scientific interests. With the Louisiana Purchase doubling the size of the United States overnight, Jefferson saw an opportunity to expand the nation's territory and secure its future prosperity. However, much of this new territory remained uncharted and largely unknown to Americans. By sending Lewis and Clark on their historic expedition, Jefferson aimed to achieve several key objectives. Firstly, he sought to establish American sovereignty over the newly acquired lands and solidify the nation's presence in the western frontier. Secondly, he hoped to forge trade relationships with Native American tribes and assess the economic potential of the region. Additionally, Jefferson was eager to gather scientific data, including detailed maps, botanical specimens, and observations of wildlife, geology, and climate. On May 14, the expedition sets out from St. Louis, Missouri, embarking on a journey into the unknown that will test their courage, determination, and resilience. As the expedition makes its way up the Missouri River, they encounter a series of challenges and obstacles that threaten to derail their mission. From treacherous rapids and unpredictable weather to encounters with hostile Native American tribes, the journey is fraught with danger and uncertainty. One of the most pivotal moments of the expedition occurred in November 1804, when the explorers encountered the Mandan and Hidatsa tribes in present-day North Dakota, near the confluence of the Knife and Missouri Rivers. This encounter marked a crucial turning point in their journey, as it provided the expedition with valuable information about the terrain, resources, and indigenous peoples of the region. Chief Shahik, also known as Big White, was the leader of the Mandan tribe, and his role in welcoming the expedition was instrumental in establishing friendly relations between the explorers and the Native American tribes of the Upper Missouri. Chief Shahik greeted Lewis and Clark warmly, offering them hospitality and assistance during their stay. One of the most significant figures during this encounter was Sacagawea, the young Shoshone woman who had joined the expedition as an interpreter and guide. Sacagawea played a crucial role in facilitating communication between the explorers and the Mandan and Hidatsa tribes, as she was fluent in several Native American languages, including Hidatsa and Shoshone. Sacagawea's presence was particularly valuable during the negotiations with Chief Shahik, as she helped to bridge the cultural and linguistic divide between the two parties. Her ability to communicate effectively ensured that the exchange was conducted with respect and understanding laying the foundation for peaceful relations between the expedition and the indigenous peoples of the region. During their time with the Mandan and Hidatsa tribes, Lewis and Clark gathered valuable information about the local geography, wildlife, and resources. They also engaged in cultural exchange, learning from the tribe's traditional knowledge of the land and its inhabitants. Overall, the encounter with Chief Shahik and his people in November 1804 was a pivotal moment in the Lewis and Clark expedition, shaping their understanding of the Great Plains and the Rocky Mountains and paving the way for their historic journey to the Pacific Ocean. As the expedition presses onward into the uncharted territory of the Rocky Mountains, tensions run high as the explorers face dwindling supplies, harsh winter conditions, and the constant threat of attack from hostile tribes. Yet, despite these challenges, Lewis and Clark remain undeterred in their pursuit of discovery. In the spring of 1805, the expedition reached the headwaters of the Missouri River and began the arduous journey across the Rocky Mountains. Along the way, they encounter breathtaking landscapes, abundant wildlife, and new species of plants and animals previously unknown to science. After months of grueling travel, the expedition finally reached the Pacific Ocean in November 1805, fulfilling their mission and achieving a historic milestone in American history. Yet, their journey is far from over as they must now navigate the treacherous waters of the Columbia River and make their way back to civilization. In September 1806, 
the weary but triumphant explorers returned to St. Louis, having completed their epic journey of exploration and discovery. Their expedition has not only mapped vast stretches of the American West, but also forged lasting bonds with indigenous peoples and paved the way for future settlers to follow. The Lewis and Clark expedition stands as a testament to the spirit of adventure, exploration, and perseverance that defines the American character. Join us as we journey back in time to relive this remarkable chapter in history and celebrate the legacy of Lewis and Clark's historic expedition. Subscribe to our channel, Past History Unveiled, for more captivating tales from the annals of history. Join us on Past History Unveiled as we journey back to the dawn of American history, exploring the events that shaped our nation's history. Subscribe, follow, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest releases as we continue to uncover the untold stories of our past.